really excited for all of you to be able to, to learn from him tonight and to understand you know, um, these category creating products. Uh, he's going to be talking about nutrigenomics and biohacking and the activation of pathways. So Dr. Goodman, can you just kind of share with the listening audience and the viewing audience, why Life Vantage? Why this company? Well, I got to tell you that um, after studying what Life Vantage was doing with choosing first rate products for the benefit of essentially all of humankind and realizing what impact that had on the future of how medicine is essentially going to be practiced in the future, they had that foresight. And I wanted to be on board with that. I mean, they have put together an incredible team of scientists, researchers, in order to bring just a paramount of products to the public. And, and it's my job, I see it my job to educate the public is to make them realize, you know, what they have in front of them at their feet. It's absolutely phenomenal that I even have the ability to, to talk about this. Yeah, well, I, I, I'm really impressed with, you know, who you're bringing on, you know, your peers and, and other doctors and other areas of medicine. And, and, and all of you just, just seem to be understanding the direction, you know, that healthcare is moving. So I'm really excited for, you know, for all of you. And um, um, let, let's start out with, we're, we're going to be talking about the Vitality Stack. And can you just kind of start out, you know, with, you know, our flagship product, the NRF2 Pro Tandem, help everyone understand the significance uh, of what this product does, you know, and, 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 and how it works. Absolutely. You know, it's actually um, a, a complicated subject that can be broken down into small parts that I'm going to try to make uh, everybody understand. And hopefully uh, people won't be caught up in too much of the technology and be afraid of it. I think when you're afraid of something, you're afraid to try it. And uh, in which case then really, you're really missing an incredible opportunity. So um, let me go ahead and change my screen here to a slide presentation that I've done to try to address the, uh, the subject of the science. And I'm gonna start with my starter slide. So that's my picture and we'll move from there. So let me move ahead and let's just talk. I wanna say real briefly that um, to, to my audiences, I make this a point that this potentially could be the single most important health presentation of a person's life. Uh, of course, I have to also make the FDA disclaimer and say that we don't claim to treat, cure, or mitigate disease because we are talking about a food product that is not a, a technically a drug. However, I think when people see what it has the impact to do, that they can connect the dots and make their own associations and understand. So let's talk about the four pillars of human health, wellness, and aging. Uh, I break that down into four main pillars of health, and they include oxidative stress, mitochondrial function, the concept of the second brain, and then the blood-brain barrier. And at first, we're going to talk about oxidative stress, like Gabe, you suggested that I do. And I think that's, that really gets at the heart of the flagship product, uh, which is ProTandem NRF2. So again, this is the core four of health. And let's go then and talk about oxidative stress in particular. And hopefully everybody can see this. This is our friendly oxygen molecule. And you know, the oxygen molecule we think would be good. We need that to breathe, of course. We can't survive without oxygen. Uh, but I must also say that even though we take that first breath, that air that we breathe at first when we're babies is really only 21% oxygen. 78% of, of it is actually um, inert. It's, it's nitrogen. More is toxic. And in my field of pediatrics, if I take care of premature babies and I expose them to too much oxygen, it actually would lead them to become blind. So the point I'm trying to make here is that we need it, but it's also damaging and potentially toxic. And in fact, it's slowly killing us. And I think that's the thing that most people don't really understand is that the very thing that we breathe is what's going to take us out at the end of our lives. 
And that's a phenomenal statement. I, I just don't think anybody has a concept. I, I knew I was blown away by it when I mentioned it to people. They were looked at me like I was funny. Mm -hmm. And the reason is, is that oxygen causes oxidation. Uh, what is oxidation? Well, you know, its effect on metal is pretty clearly seen. If you have a piece of steel, it causes it to rust. And aluminum, it causes it to corrode. But you know, your cells are rusting too. They just rust in a different way. Initially, you see that as wrinkles, maybe cell damage, uh, you know, aches and pains from inflammation in your joints as you get wear and tear. Essentially, it, it leads to aging, ultimately disease, and finally, cell death. So this is what oxygen does to our bodies. And if you, you take a piece of uh, fruit, say, that you bite into, like an apple, and everybody's seen the apple that sits on the countertop, and after it sits there for about a half an hour or so, it starts to turn brown and it starts to get pretty ugly looking. And this is what it looks like. And that's because it's made of flesh. And we're also made of flesh. And this is the effect that oxygen has on our bodies, except we don't necessarily see it all at once. It's a very slow process, but it is happening. So what causes that to happen like that? Well, essentially free radicals, the concept of free radicals. These are supercharged oxygen particles that are generated by our daily exposures to ionizing radiation, smoking, air pollution, UV light, 150 different things that are in our environment. And essentially these uh, free radicals act like, well, being an army guy, act like shrapnel or uh, tons of debris that explode within the cell. And in doing so, they create damage to our own DNA and they also damage our mitochondria. So this is a devastating thing to our cells and they can't sustain it for very long. But the common denominator here is again, is oxygen. And that's why it's such a devastating, dangerous thing in the long run. So we're gonna just refer to free radicals and oxygen damage as the bad guys. That's just, just a nice, easy way to remember it. These are the bad guys. Keep it simple. All right, well, how did our body deal with this? Well, it dealt with it at birth because we were actually armed at birth with some primary internal antioxidants. And those primary internal antioxidants are present in every single one of our cells, whether they're your eye cells, your hair cells, your skin cells, they're everywhere. And they're in the millions and they're doing a great job keeping uh, free radical damage at bay. But we don't know that growing up. So we're told by our physicians, me also, that we should eat more vitamin E and more vitamin A, eat kale and broccoli. But these are actually secondary dietary antioxidants. They help, but they cannot keep up with the constant onslaught of free radicals that are produced in the millions by our bodies. So we really want to depend on these three internal primary antioxidants that we were born with, and they, they go by three names, SOD, catalase, and glutathione peroxidase. And Gabe, I'm not gonna have a test at the end of this lecture, okay? <laughs> I know everybody wants one, but these three, I just want everyone to know that these are super important because they are the most powerful antioxidants our body can actually make, and are so many more times powerful than anything we could possibly eat. And they have the capability to cope with the free radical onslaught. And we're gonna to refer to these as the good guys. All right, so now we got good guys and we got bad guys. And these good guys have a Superman symbol by them because we want them to be by our side just like Superman. All right, so when the amount of free radicals exceeds our ability to neutralize them, that's what we mean by the term oxidative stress. And we've tossed that term around a lot, but that's essentially what it means. It's an imbalance. All right, so oxidative stress, we know, is the main cause of aging. And it's also the cause of over 200 diseases. And if you go to pubmed.gov, which is the NIH uh, literature website, essentially, you can type in oxidative stress and almost any disease that you want to name, and you're going to get a hit. And you're going to see where there is an association. And this is what I meant about connecting the dots. If you could help oxidative stress in your body and reduce it, you have potentially the key to reverse aging as well as many, many diseases that the human race is exposed to and suffers with.
So this is what this slide is saying. Inflammation and oxidative stress is at the central core of all of these organ systems around the outside that could be affected by oxidative stress. In the brain, we talk about Alzheimer's and Parkinson's disease. Those people have approximately seven times the amount of oxidative stress that we do. People who have ADHD and autism, people who have suffered from strokes, people who have heart disease who suffer from myocardial infarction or hardening of the arteries. How about joints, osteoarthritis? There's hundreds of diseases that are all related to the central concept of inflammation and oxidative stress. And this is the buzzword now in medicine, inflammation and oxidative stress. So I've been treating all of these diseases individually by putting uh, patients on medicines for their lungs, uh, giving them ADD medicines for children, for example. But maybe in fact, what we should be doing is trying our best to reduce the central area of inflammation and oxidative stress. And when we do that, and we bring in Superman, now we're talking, now we're gonna get some traction about trying to improve ourselves and improve disease because we're gonna increase the cellular production of our internal antioxidants, which consist of superoxide dismutase, catalase, and glutathione. Those three good guys, that's what we want to do. We wanna bring them up. We wanna upregulate them. All right, well, we're able to do that because you know what? They're coded for by genes. We have 23 pairs of chromosomes and all of these horizontal bands, bands that you see here on these chromosomes represent a gene. And those genes code for proteins and enzymes, like those good guys we talked about. Well, if we could turn those on some way, we have the key to some major success. And in fact, we have that key right now because we know that the NRF2 protein and the NRF1 protein which have been identified as master regulators of cell protection, they're some of those genes that can actually be turned on. So if we can activate that NRF2 protein by Superman, we can increase superoxide dismutase by 34%. I mean, listen to this, 34%. You can increase catalase by 54% and increase glutathione by 300% in 120 days. I mean, this is absolutely incredible. There's no other substance that we have in our arsenal that can do such a thing. And we're talking about doing this internally. We're not talking about taking an IV or taking a medicine. We're talking about having our own body cells, every single one of our 37 trillion cells, turn on simultaneously the ability to turn on these good guys and reduce oxidative stress from free radical damage by 40% in 30 days. That's every single person who's ever taken it. Gabe, this was tested in studies that were peer reviewed by the University of Colorado Health Sciences, Virginia Commonwealth University, Harvard University, Ohio State University, these are major institutions, and they all came to the same conclusion and published their results in PubMed.gov, and you can find those because all those literature results are available, and they're available on the LifeVantage website as well. And not only do we have the ability to turn on and reduce oxidative stress due to free radical damage by 40%, but we also have the ability to turn on survival genes, which are other genes that are at play in our system. So, Essentially, what I'm trying to say is that your DNA that you are coded with is not your destiny. You can change that. And the reason is that only 20% of your DNA is ever expressed. 80% of it essentially lies dormant. You can change the way that your genes are expressed. And when you do that, that's where the term biohacking comes from. It's not a bad thing. You're not hacking a computer. You're talking about hacking into your DNA code by using a food product to turn on the good guys so that you can fight the bad guys. Because otherwise, what alternative do you have? The alternative is to be hijacked. And you know what? We're hijacked every single day that we live. We're hijacked physically through injury, uh, exposure to cancer-causing substances, emotionally through our daily stressors of everyday life, biochemically through toxins, radiation, allergens, pollution, uh, poor food choices and things that we choose to eat, un un unfortunately, drugs and alcohol. But when you biohack, you're optimizing your already coded ge genetic potential. I mean, you become the best version of yourself and you're using the science of nutrigenomics. 
So what is nutrigenomics? So Gabe, the nutrigenomics is where you use food and you use food products to essentially interact with your genes so as to get a desired result. That's the new science. Um, Dr. Why? Green, it, it, I, I want to back, back you up just a little bit because I know you, you used the term good guys and you had this Superman symbol and you were talking to the audience about, you know, glutathione peroxidase and SOD and catalase. Um, folks, what I want you to understand, the reason why Dr. Goodman calls them the good guys uh, and Superman is because what they do is they work like a catalyst. They promote the reaction of getting rid of. So in other words, you know, it's good guys versus bad guys. The first 20 years of life, nobody ages. You predominantly grow because you have an over and abundance of those good guys. And you had those Superman good guys annihilating those bad guys at a million to one per second. So right. one of those good guys were annihilating a million bad guys per second. While right. they're incredibly powerful and you have a ton of them when you're young. Can, can you help everyone understand the difference between indirect and direct? Because everyone knows what direct antioxidants are, but what they don't know is those three Superman products that you're talking about are indirect. Help them understand the difference between the two, because that's going to really right. really you know, excite them. Right. Right. Well, you know, essentially, if you ingest a antioxidant, like say vitamin C, or you eat kale, you're essentially taking in one molecule that has the ability to get rid of one molecule of a free radical. But when you activate your body's superoxide dismutase and those good guys that Gabe talked about, you have the ability to get rid of a million of those free radicals because the amount of energy and destructive ability of our own antioxidants is so much more powerful than anything you could possibly ingest. You would have to have 11 pounds of blueberries and like 87 glasses of wine to equal the power of just one uh, protandum molecule that will uh, protandum uh, uh, supplement that we might take in order to turn on our NRF2. So NRF2 is the key. If we can turn that on, our internal antioxidants are just so much more powerful because they appear in every single one of our cells. Whereas if you eat just a piece of food, kale or broccoli, you have to ingest that and it really only uh, pales in comparison. That's, 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 that's so incredible. I mean, you, I, I mean, you, I mean, you got me there, you know, how can I take this product? That's, that's just insane to me. Right. It's, it's incredible potential. And I, I want to talk briefly, Gabe, about the difference between supplementing and activating. I think there's a lot of um, confusion about that. When you supplement, you're just guessing. You don't have any product specific research that tells you what that does. I mean, there are hundreds of vitamin D tablets out there. What calcium product do you choose? What does it do to your cells? You, there's lack of quality control. Which company is good? Which company is bad? Uh, who, who, who suggested to take that individual product? Uh, do you really know what the end result of gene expression or your overall cellular health is? And the answer to that is you don't. But when you're talking about the new science of nutrigenomics that I was talking about, you're talking about today's breakthroughs. These are studied. Uh, Gabe, this is studied in major, major academic institutions and published. We've known about this for a number of years. And, and when people read these studies, if they could digest it, and you know, I guess that's half the problem. The lay public really isn't going to understand that. Mm -hmm. And so I see my role as educator. To, to get out into a public forum and to talk to people and try to put it into a simple, easy to understand format of what they are trying to say and explain in these very complicated published studies. And essentially, these are independent funded studies. They're not even being done by LifeVantage. They're being done by universities and institutions on their own accord. So they look at the end result on genes and cellular health. And they're also using the concept of synergy I'm going to talk about synergy for a minute because um, synergy has to do with how things work in combination to a greater good. But first, I want to say something. 
That's that people are fed by the food industry, which pays absolutely no attention to health. And they're treated by the health industry, which I'm in. And we generally pay no attention to food. I mean, with that as our background, we don't stand a chance. So when LifeVantage got a hold of the concept of nutrigenomics and uses food to the advantage of human betterment, they seek to change that paradigm of the little yellow pill. I mean, this is what Protandum NRF2 and Protandum NRF1 does. I mean, we're using an incredible power of a God-given natural product to affect a, a change in our humanness. So if we look at Protanum NRF2 Synergizer a little more closely and what it actually is, it's five organic uh, plant-based products that are very, very ultra pure, even better than organic. And they include ashwagandha root, bacoba extract, green tea extract, which has been used by the ancients for, oh gosh, 5,000 years, milk thistle, and turmeric, which also is a uh, Indian uh, 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 product that's used as an herbal remedy for lots of different things. But honestly, they didn't really know why it worked. They knew that it did work. And when you look at these individual bar graphs showing these individual products and how they affect the NRF2 messenger protein that I was talking about, that key that turns on those good guys, you see that the effect is relatively little. But when you put them together in just the right amount, you get an 1800% activation. I mean, they work synergistically to the betterment of each other. This is what the patent is for from ProTandem and from LifeVantage. And what they've got here is absolutely incredible. And that's why it's a flagship product. And I'm just thrilled that I can even talk about it. Let's look real quickly. I wanna just re reiterate what it does. So Prandum, Protandum NRF2, what it does is it lowers your oxidative stress by 40%. That's everybody, okay? They tested that in age 20 to age 70, and it did this in essentially everyone. It significantly reduces cellular stress through the NRF2 activation, and as Gabe and I just mentioned, it induces enzymes that are capable of neutralizing more than 1 million. That's, Gabe, 1 million free radicals in every single one of your cells, not just one cell, not just your liver, not just your brain, every cell in your body. This is absolutely unheard of. And that's why, I mean, I have to talk about it. And the other thing is, and we didn't even talk about this really in detail, but it activates 400 other survival genes that you need to live. And it has an effect on that. And when it does that, it's essentially like tuning your piano. And I'm gonna talk about that concept in a minute. But essentially what it does is it repairs your body, helps you rejuvenate your own cells from the inside out, and it also is the only natural supplement that has been shown in animals to extend life by 7%. I mean, can you believe this? I mean, the National Institute of Aging. I mean, this is a division of the National Institute of Health. This is government agency that we're talking about here. And I understand that was a 10-year study, too, <clears throat> which is fascinating to me. Absolutely. It was a longitudinal study, and they looked at that. You know, you mentioned before, you know, how much of these other one-to-one -one antioxidants that you take, direct antioxidants, would you have to take? 375 oranges you'd have to take to equal one protandum. 87 glasses of red wine with resveratrol, 11 pounds of blueberries, or 120... 20 vitamin C tablets in a day. It's just not possible to take that many and to have an effect. Whereas one protandum activates 1 million antioxidant particles that your body actually produces. So if you look at this graph, look at this red bar. Uh, can you see that on your screen, Gabe? Yes, I can. Okay, that elevated bar shows the relation of oxidative stress as you age. And you can see that from age 20 to age 80 and above, it's a straight line up, okay? That's your oxidative stress potential without protandum. Now, when you give clients protandum, this is what happens. It's completely level. Look at this. It is the level at 80 that it was at the age of 20. Essentially, you've reduced your cellular aging and your oxidative stress at all ages, 
I mean, Gabe, all ages, it doesn't matter how old you are or when you decided to take this, it's still going to work for you. And it reduces by 40 to 70% in about everyone in 30 days. That's an FDA approved statement that we can say that pro tandem reduces oxidative stress to that level. That's just right, so I mean, that's incredible. I mean, it is, it's incredible. And I'm hoping that everybody understands this. You know, I want to just mention another al analogy. I like using this one because it sort of brings in this, this uh, concept of tuning a piano. If your piano was, uh, was your body and each of the keys in the piano was one of your genes, this is a piano that grandma bought in 1969. And look at the green bars. They're nice and level. They're playing in a nice harmonious way. This is the concept of tuning. Everything sounds good. But what happens when that addict when that, when I'm sorry, when that piano sits in the attic for 50 years and nobody plays it, the keys begin to stick and those notes are not quite sounding so good, are they? So guess what? Our body's that piano. It's 50 years old or it, let's just say it's aging. And as it ages, our genes are also out of tune. So let's look at this. This is what your genes look. These are just 63 of the 400 genes that ProTandem effects as survival genes. And look at the range of up and down here. This piano is all over the place. You've got ones that are low. Those represent glutathione and superoxide dismutase, which may be reduced as we get older. And look at this one over here. This may represent some of the genes that are responsible for causing hardening of the arteries and metabolic syndrome and also fibrosis of your heart. But look what happens to this. I mean, this is absolutely compelling. When you put protandum in the situation and you measure these genes again, this is what you see. Can you see those green bars? It, it, it's going to take some time. Are you, are you seeing those now? Look at this. The one that was high, that was over here, is now lower. It was down-regulated. And the one that was low is now higher. That is upregulated. That would example be, for, for example, the, uh, the good guys that we talked about. They're brought up. I'm going to go back. Look at this. This is what it looked like. This is horrible. You're totally out of tune. Okay, 400 genes, not just the three that I talked about, but 400 genes that you need to survive. And they're completely messed up. And now this is what it looks like. Totally smooth and tuned. You don't think that this piano is playing a lot better than that other piano? You bet it does. And I'm gonna show you, that's why we're doing this. We wanna bring it into harmony. So in the future, grandma and her piano, she's gonna say that they had their genes tuned by Pro Tandem. That is an amazing, amazing feat. In fact, it's so amazing that Washington State University in 2015, this is a prestigious medical center and university, they said this was potentially the most extraordinary therapeutic and preventative breakthrough in the history of medicine. And Gabe, this is why I wanted to get on board with Life Vantage. This is what this is all about. Well, wow, that's absolutely incredible. And I, I, and I know we were very, very limited on time. So in closing with the activation of, of, of the NERF2 pathway, folks, basically what Dr. Goodman just taught us is taking antioxidants are now a thing of the past because making them is the future. Absolutely. Absolutely he, correct. As he said, it's a better tool it's more efficient and more importantly it's safer some people don't understand that if you take too much vitamin c it actually becomes a pro-oxidant so it creates more free radicals the nerf 2 activation of that pathway won't allow your body to do it because simply it just gets your own body to do its own work what your body was meant to do for the first 20 years of life and for all of you that are on this webinar tonight that are entrepreneurial in thinking, imagine having a business that there's no competition. Folks, what Dr. Goodman is teaching us right now, we are the only activator that's all natural out there. So I want you to be thinking about this from a business um, standpoint, as well as a physiological standpoint. 
Uh, so, Dr. Goodman, let's go ahead and kind of, we're, we're going to have to kick this. Yeah. In the I'm going to go by real fast on this, Gabe, and I'm going to, I won't interrupt very much uh, except to just sort of fly through these three and just hit it real fast. We're going to talk about mitochondrial dysfunction and the NRF2 or NRF1 pro tandem as well. I just want to say that the mitochondria is responsible for all energy production in the cell. We need this little guy to work for us, and if it's not working, we're not well. Okay, so all the, met all the metabolic energy in the cell is produced by that mitochondria. So can you imagine if the free radical damage damages the mitochondria over here, this pink structure, what that could happen to our cells if that happens? Essentially, it destroys the nucleus of the cell and destroys our ability to produce energy. And when you do that, these little mitochondria that you see here, they are essentially gone and that cell dies. And that's, and, and I mean, the nucleus in the cell, the cell can live on, but without mitochondria, that cell is dead. And that's part of our dying process. So we don't want that to happen. And we don't want our cells to be destroyed from the inside out by free radical damage. So anything we can do to support that, we're gonna try to do. And that's what Protandum NRF1 does. So if you have decreased mitochondria, you have decreased metabolism. And if you have decreased metabolism, you have no energy for the cell and you're gonna gain weight. And if you have decreased energy, you're not going to heal. And the last part of this is if you don't heal, you're not going to feel good. Your emotional state is going to be reduced and you can't concentrate and think. So that's what Protandum NRF1 is. So basically, yeah. So basically, folks, what he just said, if you want to sleep better and have more energy, this is the product that you want to take because it activates the pathway that makes more ATP, which is fuels that mitochondria for energy. That's absolutely as impressive as the NRF2 um, uh, activator. Absolutely, and the two of them together are the one-two punch and they constitute the two major components of the vitality stack. So you get all of that in that vitality stack. And going on to the second brain, we can talk about the probiotics. You know, the second brain is essentially, what is it? It's your gut. Bacteria in your gut are essentially talking to your body. You, you don't realize it, but the number of bacteria in your gut is actually more than all of your human cells combined. So therefore, we're actually more microbial than we are human. I mean, that's, that's unbelievable. And if you think that those bacteria that live in your gut are ill, then you're going to start to absorb some of their aberrant signaling. You're going to pick up some of the neurotransmitters. They actually have the ability to produce neurotransmitters like your first brain does. And that's why we call the gut the second brain, because they can actually make you feel pretty bad. So that microbiome secretes the same things, serotonin, norepinephrine, and dopamine that your brain does. So you need that gut to be in good health in order for you to feel well. And that's why probiotics are so important. And what makes this probiotic especially important is, is that it's the only probiotic that contains a biotract formulation that essentially allows it to deliver 60% of the payload of 6 billion colony forming units to your gut, whereas most other probiotics only get 4 to 5% through your system, and that's because they're destroyed by stomach acid. So essentially, it's 15 times more bioavailable. There is no other probiotic like this. And it's a time-release bacterial delivery system that releases it over 10 hours to your large intestine, where it's supposed to be. And lastly, because the gut also is home of 70% of your immune system, it contains well immune so that your gut will be quick to respond to threats and disease. Wow. So that, that's a huge, huge tool in this, in this kit. It's something that I just learned, and it was actually, I learned from you, Dr. Goodman, the last time that you were on this webinar for us. I didn't realize that all other probiotics, only 4 to 7% got to where it needs to be. And because of this timed release formula, and it's encapsulated, so it, the stomach acids doesn't eat it up, over 60% gets to where it needs to be. I mean, done. Okay, where do I get it? Yeah, essentially, essentially, you know, it's not that everybody touts how many bacteria are in their uh, probiotic. It's not the number that's on the pill. It's how many of that number get to your gut. So if you take 10 billion and only 2% or 4% get to your gut, it's essentially worthless. You might as well just throw your money down the drain. Gotcha. Thank you so much for that information. That's incredible. Absolutely.
Absolutely. I want to talk lastly about the last component, Gabe, of the, uh, of the vitality stack, and that has to do with the blood-brain barrier. I don't know if people realize it, but your brain is mostly made of fat. It's 70% fat, and most of the fat is omega-3 fatty acids. It's what went uh, to form your brain when you were small. So omega-3s are necessary to have a healthy brain membrane, and they're also important for your muscles and joints. And as a side benefit, they lower your cholesterol, improve your cellular communication pathways. And not only that, but they're anti-cancer and anti-diabetes. You absolutely need to have omega oils in your system. And not only that, in this product, they include omega-7, which is also anti-inflammatory for your joints and anti-diabetes. And lastly, the mother of all antibiotics is vitamin D3. It's included in the amount of 800 international units. You need this for your bones, your muscle, your immune system. You can't get along without it. There are so many humans that are vitamin D deficient because they don't take vitamin D in their diet. It also helps to protect your prostate and breast in women. And remember this, that the DHA ratio in this is three to one. This is the same as what is in mother's breast milk. And that's what, what, what met, I'm sorry, that's what went to go and make your brain when you were born. It's of the purest quality. It's 100% traceable. It's not rancid. It doesn't have a fishy smell. In fact, it, it, takes, it tastes sort of lemony when you bite into it. And, and, and it goes to make your brain tissue, which is your daily dose of smart. That's why mom told you, hey, you need to eat fish if you want to be smart and go to school. So like this little girl uh, who's really smart, she's taking her uh, fish oil pill and she's not complaining at all because she doesn't have fish indigestion, she doesn't have an upset stomach and she doesn't smell like fish. This is Dr. Charlisa Hudson's uh, daughter, L. That's awesome. So, yeah, so Gabe, that is just the part of the Vitality Stack over here that includes all four of those products besides the entire uh, Life Vantage line. Well, thank you so much for your expertise. Uh, and folks, um, we, we do have a skincare regimen that works, you know, on the outside of the body in. Basically, what Dr. Goodman just educated all of us tonight on those four products works inside out, especially the Nerf 2 and the NRF1 activators. And obviously your skin is your largest organ, right? Uh, very, very important. And I've always been taught if you're gonna do something, you do it 100% right. You don't do it 50% right and just protect the body for the, from the inside out, you protect it from the inside out and the outside in. So maybe next week we'll have a skincare specialists talk about the activation uh, of, of the Nerf 2 product with the skincare. Uh, your dogs age seven times faster than we do, meaning they have seven times the oxidative stress levels we do, and we ha actually have a pet tandem. So there's some information that we can go there. But what I'd like to do is just take about five, six minutes and just talk about the opportunity